Hey, what's up guys? Check it out. I wanted to give a video about my welders this time. I have two of them. I have a SA50 mainliner that was made by Fowler and then I have a, a shorty and that one's chopped and everything but I want to do a video on the Fowler mainliner. I did a video a while back on it I think in the winter but I'm going to redo another one. This time it's going to be about both of my welders. Check it out. That's the 250 Fowler mainliner. It was uh, an SA250 with, um, I think with the Perkins engine in it, but it got taken out, put in a 70 models frame, and it had a three cylinder Yanmar put on it with the seven range selector, with the five range selector for the arc force, chopped five inches, shortened, six inches I believe maybe seven inches I'm not sure hello. hello I'm doing a video come on come here all right check it out I'll fire it up for you guys got a pull lead so it doesn't ground out that's my daughter Delaney say hi hi it's bright out here all right check it out flip it on pull the plugs for a second Clean machine. Oh, it's my wheels there too. <laughs> yeah, it's a badass machine. I made this grill a while back. I think last winter also. I cut a, I cut a oxygen bottle down, shortened it, put the cap back on, made some breather holes, took the valve off. So the smoke will go in and out of there. But that's my SA250 Fowler mainliner. Slick, slick machine. I could, it sips on diesel too. I think I could run 30 bucks on five days, running it 10 hours a day. Can I show them something? Yeah, what do you want to show them? Show them the dirt bike? Yeah. Check it out. That's her little dirt bike. It did have that little number plate on there, but it got wrecked. Cause she, yeah, because she's a crazy rider. It got wrecked and it broke off. But I yeah. bought the bike brand new. I fell in a hole. <laughs> little thing's cool. And this is how you Carries me. Started from. Make sure this is out. Okay. That's it. That's your cool little dirt bike. Has a centrifugal clutch, I believe, so there's no gears, it's just all out of gas. It's pretty cool, runs smooth, it's an SSR. It's a good little bike. I've got SA 200 parts too. Radiator cover. The back of the SA 200, I got a I got a, what is that, a bellows idler, idler on there and uh, an air breather, an original air breather for an SA200 shorty. All for sale. I got some doors. I don't know, I'm not sure what year those came off of. Maybe a 300D and an old SA200 or something. If you guys are looking to get a dirt bike SSRs are probably the best ones to go with yeah those are they're priced pretty good I think I picked that one up for like mm, a thousand bucks or eleven hundred bucks brand new and then they like give some deal huh mm, kind of yeah. 
maybe took 50 bucks off the original price but they're pretty good bikes pretty durable they say they wrecked the shit out of it a few times <laughs> but well, we're it crazy comes with the territory of riding but check it out guys oh well, walmart ice chest i give it a polishing this morning It's all banged up, but I keep it clean. I bought it like three years ago at Walmart for a hundred dollars. Oh yeah, the reason it's a Ozark Trail. The reason this happens is because he has it on his truck most of the time. Yep, so, it's on my rig. So whatever's on our hand, we use to shut it, and it ends up denting it up. Start this one. Yeah, hold on, check it out. Let me tell him real quick. This, this one, is a. Uh, this one's like seventy years old, right? Yeah, it's pretty old. It, Check it out. This is a, I think I, I believe a '53 shorty. Shorty's it was chopped uh, five inches. It was chopped five inches. I uh, made a gas tank for it. it a ten gallon, a ten gallon day. gas tank. Yeah, on the job side, I was working and catching a leak after using it for three days. But and, and I just had ten gallons in it, so it leaked it all out. So that was a bummer. But oh well, I took it off. I I fixed it, put it back on, and then it had that old breather on it right there, but I didn't like it because it would let water in, so I, I found this one, and I had to modify the frame a little bit, but it came out good, I bolted that up, put it in there, I rebuilt the magneto, uh, I put new plugs, new belt, new thermostat, uh, I did upgrade, I wired for remote, um, the radiator is in a good shape. It is a five range selector shorty. It's not a red faced blue doll, but it fit it with the five range selector. So, I mean, it looks good. And he made this <clears> and he's <throat> Yeah, and I uh, I made this armature cover like a six shooter pistol. I did it all myself. I did have some help from a friend named Brolio Costa. He, he helped me out quite a bit with that. I call him Brolio. <clears throat> And I ordered that stainless hood from Lincoln Love. It came out pretty clean. Shout out to those dudes. <clears throat> Can I show them how to start it? Yeah, start it. You gotta make sure this. Yeah, stuff flipped on is switch. That's it right there. I never have to use the choke to start it either. It starts up great. Runs great. I use it on the job about three days. And then the tank sprung a leak on me, so I took it off and fixed it. But tomorrow I'm gonna put it back on my truck. I did the I did most of the work myself with the wiring upgrades parts all that good stuff I did a badass spiderweb radiator cover on it oh uh Atlas fabrication out of Carl's bed hooked me up with that Made those money nods for it just whatever i had in the toolbox the six shooter armature cover came out great oh, can you show them what I, mean? I made one but i don't think we had um, other ones other ones like and yeah see what she's talking about oh yeah i made this one yeah i had an extra money sign so she spray painted it and did her own deal on it, it came out good she likes to mess around with spray paint and stuff like that but well, that's it. Machine runs good and everything. If I would sell it, I would take seven grand for it. it has good brushes, everything on it. Uh, I put replace the brushes up front. <clears throat> These brushes are still good in the armature. Everything's good. It's ready to pipeline. Whatever. I set the OCVs at 93. It's at 1550 RPMs at full idle. Um, the receptacles at 125 volts, I believe. 
But there it is. There's a oh SA shorty and the SA 250. That one's a diesel conversion with the Yamaha on it. If I didn't say that. Three cylinder. And this one's just a F162 gas engine. Both are badass machines. And if All right. you want us to give you a shout out, you have to comment, subscribe, like, and then you gotta comment again saying done. Okay, that works for me. Yep, we'll give you a shout if you do that. Alright, everyone. Three people. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good one, guys. Bye.